welcome back in this class again we will continue with the applications of information systems so you can find the applications of information systems in various business activities in almost all fields these information systems are being used for example special machines or robots are used in production units with the help of information systems we are able to know the market trends that is ups and downs in the stock prices so that we can make some investment decisions if we consider engineering field there are sophisticated software tools or design tools are available using that you can design or develop a model for example your dream vehicle it may be and as far as customer management system is concerned customers can get enhanced quality of services and they can interact with the company with the use of easy and user friendly web based interfaces let us discuss about information systems in customer relationship management these systems are helpful in customer services improvement so that means you can gain extra knowledge about your customers so that you can enhance the quality of services related to the customers you can provide online based tools as well as a service system so that you can quickly interact and serve the customers in a most efficient as well as better or faster way so that enhances the customer satisfaction because you can have the insights related to some of the specific customers requirements related to your products and services that means so what are the products or services the customer is looking for so what the customer is expected expecting from our company and what are the future requirements or the similar type of requirements that the customer is interested in other companies so on based upon the search patterns based upon the uh, requests as well as the services obtained by the customer you can track the customer's interest so that you can have specific customer requirements as well as the future requirement based ideas so these are the systems which are most helpful in getting the uh, list of more profitable customers how can you get the more profitable customers list that means uh, for example if a bank manager wants to know about who are our top 100 customers so then they can have a list uh, about the historical records of the customers and they will make a list of those customers who are more profitable to the firm but sometimes we need to uh, carry on some of the research or analysis to analyze the more profitable customers for example if a new person comes and asks for a loan how to judge that particular customer based upon the credit score or based upon their past uh, uh, loan experiences and so many parameters are there but you can identify the more profitable customers by uh, um, using some of the technologies related to the databases as well as data mining technology so in data mining you can extract some of the hidden hidden or some of the useful patterns or ideas from the customer database that means you can get more insights related to a particular customer so that you can finalize whether a particular customer 
is profitable to your firm or not so if you get the list of those profitable customers you can send some messages say email by telephonic conversation by online communication so many methods are there so you can use those methods or tools to attract the customer who are more profitable uh, who will be more profitable to your organization so one method is targeted marketing so it is for the people who are more li likely to purchase your products or services so you can get the list of persons who are more likely to purchase your product based upon the history of search records based upon their track records based upon the products they already purchased and usage records you can apply these targeted marketing techniques so this can be uh, applied to the present customers as well as for the new customers so based upon the culture of the customer region of the customer or particular uh, geographic region uh, so depending upon different parameters you can use these targeted marketing that is especially uh, you, you may relate to a behavioral targeting that you can call call so based upon the behavior of the customer and the products they are interested in you can make these targeted marketing techniques so that includes the interests of the customer taste of the customers or the buying habits of the customers the customers whether they are having credit card or not so based upon so many parameters uh, we can get more um, customer related information so that will be useful to our company and these information systems are definitely going to help in our market market research to purchase or to launch a new product or service so if you want to purchase some raw material so that we can produce a uh, new products or if you, you have already a new product that you want to promote for all purposes you can conduct a market research in a particular area so you, first you should analyze by making some of the research activities related to consumers as well as re retailers and you should you should collect some of the data by interviewing by gaining extra uh, information related to the customers by online methods or survey methods or question based or form based methods so you, you can employ different varieties of skills to conduct market research and you, you have to develop some of the statistical models so by means of you know about uh, statistical methods classification association such a uh, varieties of methods are there for the forecasting as well as to gain extra insights related to the market so you, have, you can make some critical analysis so that it will be supporting for the market research and it will be benefit for launching your new product or services and these are very very important especially for budgeting purposes so it reduces the cost of marketing also and then the next thing is you can keep track of all sales related processes for example from uh, the delivery of the product up to the customer's service so all sales related activities so request for the product and up to the delivery 
and all other sales related activities you can keep track of that means uh, if any one process is missing so it is easy to locate or if any product is not reached to the customer it is easier to locate or sometimes what happens for a same request of the customer you are approaching the customer more than several times for example a customer uh, I may ask for a particular service so more than one person or several persons are calling to that customer for the same services from your company then it is not uh, a feasible solution so you have to keep track of all the processes so that only one or two calls or what is required that much of information re reach to the customers so these are all important factors as you uh, make these sales processes more uh, informative that means uh, sales process automation you can say so all such activities must be automated so that it is easier to handle and uh, these information systems are used in enterprise resource planning in uh, HRM human resource management especially in the recruitment of uh, human resource uh, managing the human resource records training of employees evaluation of employees uh, benefits and compensation related to employees in almost all fields in HRM also it is very much useful uh, you can make a list of all those fields where the information systems are being used and uh, keep a note on it um, let us discuss more in the next classes okay thank you